Hey, what's up everyone? Today I am fishing Franklinville Lake. It's my first time here. This is in South Jersey and it's um, it's pretty warm today. It is October 10th and it is 9 o'clock and it is like 81 degrees. Holy crap. Is this really fall? Well, it rained a lot yesterday. I am hoping that the rain did help cool down the water a little bit and flush some of the gunk out. We'll see. I'm going to go out and I'm first cover a lot of water before I start, you know, doing my usual typical light tackle fishing. But I am hoping today I'll be catching some bigger bass or maybe a big giant pickerel. Let's let's see. All right, guys, as usual, I'm going to do some sort of recording here. So let's go settings, sonar, log sonar, and I want to make sure I just do sonar only, not recording any size truck scan and should be good to go. I'm going to create a map after this trip and so far it looks like the water is pretty shallow, one and a half. But I'm in the shoreline so let's, let's, let's see what's going on here. Alright, so I'm just going to start casting. I see some lily pads like type thing in that cove over there. I might have to switch over to like a weightless zoom fluke and cover some of those or use one of my uh, frogs. Holy smokes, that's a lot of lily pads up where the feeder creek is at. Interesting. So yeah, I, this is a uh, pretty shallow water. It is two, two and a half and I can't see anything. Maybe I should have bought some spinner baits. I should have one or two um, underspins with me. So maybe that will help. Yeah, it's a lot of weeds over there. So I would have to come back and fish these. Probably with like a, some sort of frog, some noisy frog some horny toad or some something like that make some noise but I'll cast on the edges of it right now and see how it goes oh, fish on oh yeah first fish oh it's a pickerel Okay. Flip him up. Man, he looks so dark. It's because of dark water. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. Oh, snaps. Dude, look at his chin. It looks like he, he broke his chin before. Oh man, poor guy. Anyway, get back in there. Good thing pickerels, the way they feed, they just chomp things down. It's not like bass where they have to, you know, sometimes suck them in a little bit. I mean, pickerels, they suck them in a little too because they have that little vortex like any other fish. But, um, you know, I'm pretty confident that with their burst speed, they could just chomp things down very easily. So guys, geez, you guys see that? Dude, stuff are on fire on the, the lily pads. I might have to give up this lure, guys. All right, guys, I might be using a frog ba creation. This is a Thailand jump frog. This is probably the most popular one by far. And uh, this is my first time really using one. It looks like the, this is the weed guard here and the plastic tubes. I think I'll leave it on. Yeah, I guess I'll leave it on because if I, if I take it off, it doesn't look like it uh, protects really well. So I'm gonna leave that on. But let's, let's talk about the structure of this first. So this is supposed to be wood, the, originally, the original one that's made um, in Thailand. I don't know if this is actually wood, but right at the end of this lure is a skirt and a place where it put on a frog hook. And of course you saw the weed guard there. Looks like this weed guard's held together. It looks like with some sort, oh no, I see what it is. They put a heat shrink tube right here. And I don't know what that little block thing in there is. But anyway, in the front where the eyelid's at, there's a flat surface here, so you, it does some popping, it does some hopping. So let's tie this on, and they recommend to do some sort of loop knot before you guys actually uh, cast this, because it actually gives it a better action. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. I no idea what that was, but. Come on, Ooh. 
That was a pickerel, I think. That was a pickerel for sure. You guys look right here. One of his teeth got stuck on my freaking wood floor. So it is wood. <laughs> Interesting. All right, guys. You guys haven't seen this for a while, but I'm going to show you guys how I tie the clinch knot super duper fast. You have your lure right in front of you like this. You stick your finger right here. All right. First off, you have your middle finger right here holding the, the main part of the line. And then you have your... You have your index finger and your thumb finger holding the tag again. You stick your finger in where you made that loop and you just loop it around through three, four, five, and then you just reach in to grab that. Boom. Look at that. I can actually do this like in maybe five seconds or less. Whoa, 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 oh, dude, that was pretty fun. Here we go, got one. All right, on a Z-Man, jerk shed. As expected, it's a pickerel. Hey, 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 hey. Easy. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Let me just. I freaking am afraid to put my finger in his mouth, but there we go. We got him. All right. Peace out, bud. Huh. Okay, two more pickerels behind me. They missed me. Whoa! Came right at, at me. That was a small pickerel. Um, I guess I could try for it. Let's try for it. Got him! Whoa, he's bigger than I thought. Yo, teeth on deck, teeth on deck. Yo, yo, yo. Stop, stop it. All right. Uh, oh, came out very easily. Look at his teeth, boys. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely don't want to lift this guy. Put him back in. Maybe I'll get a bigger one soon. All right. Written him up. Oh, 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 oh. There's some guy right over there. I don't know if he wants this guy now. He saw the line. He came after the line. Not necessarily the lure. So he's he's around. Got him this time. Oh yeah. Oh no, came off right by the kayak, but it's okay. Didn't want to deal with them anyway. All right, as promised, I need to retie. So let me just tell you guys what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to do an FG knot from my 30 pound braid to my uh, 20 pound leaders. <laughs> Here we go. Oh no, come on. Whoa, there he goes. Whoa, dude, I just bumped into something and I got rocked. All right, he's a better one. Woo, that's what I'm talking about, guys. Ay, 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 ay. Ow, I can nick myself. All right, off you go. Wait, 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 wait. All right, check that guy out. Off you go.
That was a very good blow up earlier right there. Ooh. Do I still have him? I still have this guy. And it's a bass! Holy smokes! Touch my bass! And a lily. So, they do have bass here. And wow, this is a weird uh, hook. Look at that. I hooked them through both mouth. Alright, well. Sorry, bud. In you go. Still another fish there, guys. So, let's get back out there. Whoa, I got a fish. I got a fish. Right by the log thingy, Majiggy. And he's a good one. He is a good one. What is it? Is that a bass or a pickerel? Whoa, it's a bass. Yes, fall bassin' baby. Dude, he is a tank. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, he's only on his lip, uh, like edge of his lip. Shoot, 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 shoot. Um, all right, I gotta play him good. Dude, I think I have a scale on my back. This is a good one. Please land him, please land him, please land him. Oh, please land him. Oh, no, he's only, he's, dude, he's like really, really. No, 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 no. <laughs> dude, oh yes. I need some line. Let me let me just unhook him for a second. Let me show you guys. This is amazing. Oh yes. Alright, let me get it out of the way. Here we go guys. Ho oh, ho! I think he's probably like two and three quarters. Ugh. Let's take a look. Two and three quarters. Zero it out. Here we go. Two pounds, eight ounces. Awesome, awesome. Let me get a quick pick. All right, guys. Happy fall, guys. Happy fall. Woo. All right, peace out. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for today. Franklinville, pretty fun. Ton and ton of pickerels. A lot of small ones, especially if you guys go up where the feeder creeks and river comes from. Ton of small stuff because I think because it's just super duper shallow. As I fished main part of the lake, there's a bigger pickerels and then I land that nice bass. Very interesting lake. Uh, I did paddle around and I trolled a little bit just to see if there's anything that's gonna hit. I mainly trolled around just so I could just map out the lake so I could create a map uh, using my Lorenz tool, the Genesis Maps. And um, I'm hoping that I can add that to my library in case I wanna come back here during the winter time for some awesome pickerel fishing. Like I said, this lake is primarily Full of pickerels so I don't expect to have uh, any big bass but if you guys fish here a lot and I'm wrong let me know in the comments below anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this episode again it's another episode of me fishing the fall transition try to look for some bass some pickerels and stuff whatnot if this is your first time watching my videos make sure you guys hit the subscribe button because there's gonna be plenty more trips going out this fall I think it's almost there maybe a couple more trips as it gets cooler I mean today wasn't cool at all but you know once it gets a little bit cooler the bass is going to be feeding like crazy until next time guys tight lines and always remember the fish don't wait